Well, he's an Aussie success story, a super success story, three-time Grammy Award winner. And after recording his worldwide hit, Somebody That I Used To Know, Gautier rose from Indiac to international stardom. Listen. isn't his only passion, Gautier is also an ambassador for Australia's Thin Green Line Foundation, a not-for-profit organisation aimed at supporting park rangers who put their lives on the line to protect wildlife. Prince William is also backing this very important cause. The International Ranger Federation and its charity arm, the Thin Green Line Foundation, work hard to recognise all that rangers do and to support them, their families, and since the Melbourne-based organisation att attracted the attention of royalty, it's been saving the world's most endangered animals. So, how did the organisation uh, come to be a key member in the conservation, conservation battle? We're joined now by singer and songwriter Gautier, as well as the founder of Th Thin Green Line, Sean Wilmore. Good morning to you both, guys. Thanks for joining us this morning. Gautier, first up, let's start with you. Why did you get involved in this initiative? Well, I started because Sean and I are friends from quite a few years back. So I've sort of seen him um, working on the Thin Green Line Foundation from its beginnings. And uh, I've been inspired right from the start with the incredible work he's done and how he's taken it further and further internationally, but stayed true to his grassroots um, approach. And, uh, and he's, I suppose he's, um, he's educated me a lot about what's happening around the world with the work of rangers and the work they do to protect wildlife. Sean, you founded the organisation seven years ago. You had once worked as a park ranger in Melbourne. Why were you drawn to what was happening with rangers and animals overseas? Yeah, I was a ranger, as you said, back in Victoria, and I met uh, rangers from an international ranger congress that pulled back their hair and showed me machete wounds and lifted their shirts and showed me bullet holes. And wow. I started to realise that uh, you know rangers were in the firing line, and over a thousand rangers I've come to realise have been killed in the last ten years that we know of. And so it was just out of pure need, and I made a film, and the proceeds from that film that involved mu musicians as well um, went to that cause, and I went to give it to an organisation to look after the widows and orphans and help the rangers, but realised there wasn't one. So, yeah, that's how it started. Hey, Gautier, now you, you've seen Sean's dedication to this cause firsthand, uh, up close. That must be really powerful to see, uh, you know, a, a mate making such great sacrifices. Yeah, it's, um, it's inspiring to see um, Sean's work committed to... Um, to helping others and, and doing so tirelessly really and often at the expense of his own health and um, and his own um, financial situation. I've seen him over the years. I often feel like I sometimes get to see the um, uh, how tired he is coming back from trips where I hear these incredible stories and, and only I can't even imagine often even when he's telling me I sort of I don't believe I, mean, I don't believe the story sometimes about the things he's seen wow. and, and the work I guess that he's um, that he's trying to support but um, very, it's good work. Very worthy, absolutely. Sean, you were invited to meet Prince Charles and Prince William at St James Palace. Yeah. What was their reaction to you, what you do? Uh, look, uh, I'm not a, I'll, I'll say I'm not a monarchist or a royalist or neither a Republican. I'll leave the politics to other people, but they were, they were very genuine. And um, I gave uh, Prince William a baby T-shirt for his upcoming baby George, and he appreciated that and made a joke. But then we, we actually spoke about, in this photo you're seeing, uh, we spoke about what's going on around the world, and he was very taken by it. And, he just said, oh, I'm happy to be involved. And uh, Prince Charles was particularly taken back by the fact that we had 900 widows we were trying to support. And with that, probably a couple of thousand orphans of rangers left behind. So, mm -hmm. um, And to their credit, they followed up on everything they said they were going to do in terms of linking us to different people around the world. And well, this, this year, um, as you saw, Prince William, uh, the Duke of Cambridge, has done a World Ranger Day address to the, yes. to the whole entire planet. Um, so can't ask for more than that. <laughs> well, it, it's, it's incredible what you've done um, and those mountains you've climbed. It really, really is. So thank you very much for joining us this morning. It was a pleasure to talk about it and get that message across yeah. for you guys. Thanks Sean very much, Jenny. For they want to see Wally playing this Friday. He's playing with Tex Perkins and Nicky Bomba on Friday night at the Melbourne Town Hall. So, hey, Look at you two guys bouncing off each other like that. You need your own Tonight Show. Good stuff. And Gorgia, <laughs> glad you're on because yeah. we, got a, we got a chance to run somebody that he used to know, which is great to get that Frozen theme song out of my head. <laughs> it's perfect, guys. Thank you. Uh, for all uh, details on that incredible movement and mm. the great work they're doing, just head to the Daily Show info section on our website. It's yeah, terrific. It is so good.